A year ago last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo, where I met a chap who thought he knew the lot. Sure, you know the type of chap. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of spines a porcupine had got. I asked him, what's that creature there? And he said, that's a helk. And I may have left believing that were true. If the animal in question hadn't put that chap to shame by remarking, I'm not an elk, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. With the nicest work of the nature in the zoo. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to know wahoo wahoo. I'm a gnu. Spoke G-N-U. I'm not a camel or a kangaroo, so let me introduce. I am neither man nor moose. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. I'll just pop this back up there for a moment. I'll carry on. I'd taken furnished lodgings down at Rustington on Sea, from whence I'd travelled to Ashton under Lyme. The second night I stayed there, I was woken from a dream which I'll tell you all about, but some other time. Well, amongst the hunting trophies on the wall above my head, stuffed and mounted, was a face I thought I knew. An okaby? A bison? Could it be a Jimmy Button? Then I heard a ghostly voice say, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. A gnubba gnu. Oh, I wish I could ganache my teeth with you. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to know who's a who. I'm a gnu. Spoke G-A-N-U. Call me antelope or ibex and I'll sue. And gano, I'm gonna not in the least like a Jimmy button type beast. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. Gano, 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 he's a gano.